Ever wondered why your beloved feline friend is pooping outside the litter box? Ah, the mystery that has puzzled many a cat owner. You find yourself questioning, isn't the litter box their designated bathroom? A fair question indeed, but cats, like us humans, have their own quirks and reasoning. What's unsettling is the confusion it causes. You feed them, you love them, and then they leave you a little, shall we say, gift outside their litter box. Your concern grows, for this isn't just a matter of cleanliness, but could also indicate an underlying health issue. The reasons behind this perplexing behavior can be as diverse as cats themselves. It could be due to a medical condition, a dislike for the litter box, or even a sign of stress or anxiety. The reasons are manifold, and understanding them is no small task. But fret not, we will delve into the top causes of this stinky problem. The reasons for your cat's behavior may be simpler than you think, or perhaps more complicated. Let's delve into the probable causes. Firstly, we must consider medical issues. Just like us humans, our feline friends can suffer from various health problems. These could range from urinary tract infections and kidney disease to arthritis, making it painful for them to climb into the litter box. It's always wise to consult a vet if you notice any changes in your cat's behavior. Then we have behavioral problems. Cats are creatures of habit and any change in their environment can cause stress. This might be a new pet, a new baby, or even a change in the type of litter you use. Cats are also known to be territorial. If you have multiple cats and not enough litter boxes, a cat might choose to mark its territory elsewhere. Environmental factors can also play a role. Cats are meticulous creatures and prefer clean environments. If the litter box isn't cleaned regularly, they might look for other places to do their business. The location of the litter box is also crucial. If it's in a noisy, high traffic area, your cat might feel uncomfortable and choose a quieter spot instead. Now, these aren't mere assumptions. They are backed by expert opinions and scientific research. For instance, the American Veterinary Medical Association has conducted numerous studies on feline behavior and health. Their findings suggest that a combination of medical, behavioral, and environmental factors can lead to cats defecating outside their litter box. Why does all this matter? Well, cats can't tell us what's wrong. They communicate through their behavior. If your cat is pooping outside the litter box, it's their way of telling you that something's not quite right. Understanding the cause is the first step to finding a solution. So the next time you find a stinky surprise outside the litter box, remember, it's not just a messy inconvenience, it's a call for help from your feline friend. Veterinary professionals and feline behaviorists have spent years studying this issue. Indeed, it's an intriguing puzzle, one that requires a deep understanding of feline behavior, biology, and environmental factors. Our experts agree that a variety of factors can cause this stinky problem. Stress, for instance, can be a major trigger. Changes in a cat's environment, whether it's a new pet, a new baby, or even a move to a different home, can cause anxiety leading to inappropriate elimination. Health issues are also a common culprit. Urinary tract infections, kidney disease, and arthritis can make using the litter box a painful experience, prompting your feline friend to seek relief elsewhere. Now, the importance of professional consultation cannot be overstated. Your local vet or a feline behaviorist can provide invaluable insights. They can evaluate your cat's health, assess its environment, and offer tailored solutions to help mitigate the problem. It's crucial to remember that cats are not one-size-fits-all creatures. Each one is as unique as a fingerprint, with its own personality, preferences, and quirks. What soothes one cat might stress another, and a solution that works for one might not work for another. In the end, it's all about understanding your feline friend, being patient, and finding the right balance that works for both of you. So, don't lose hope. Let the experts guide you in solving this mystery. Remember, every cat is unique, and what works for one might not work for another. So, what can you do when you find yourself in this unpleasant situation? First and foremost, Patience and understanding are paramount. Try different litter types, boxes, or even locations. It might be stress-related, so ensure a serene environment. Seek professional advice if the problem persists, as it could be a sign of an underlying health issue. 
Stay tuned to The Animal Central for more insights on your pet's behaviour. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.